Friday before. I was there three days after it was issued to me. It was not issued to me until March something. They tried to deliver it, but it never happened. I also have video of Mr. Boundy. It's a minute long video of him specifically saying that you're not served until it's in your hands and there's nothing to appeal until then. Sure. Everybody's familiar with the 
card they use when they're trying to deliver certified mail. And even with that, he waits 12 days from that to file the appeal. So even when you give him every benefit of the doubt, and you wait to start the clock, not when it's issued, but when they leave notice at his door, he still waits 12 days. And he's gonna get, he's gonna say in his argument, he's already said, well, Sam Bounty's on video saying that uh, to Cam Duff Caveman, if you don't have a trespass warning, I don't consider you served. The problem with that argument is he, he can't claim to rely on what a county employee, even myself, told somebody else in a different case with different circumstances. Um, no county employee, myself included, can justify a deviation from the code that would produce an illegal result. And that case, I would argue, is very distinguishable. That's a case where the sheriff's office had been advised to withdraw the trespass warning case that to this very date, I've never seen a trespass warning that was issued and have no evidence that a trespass warning was issued. It's also a different form back then. It didn't even have a date of issuance on the form, which we do have in this case. In this case, he spends 22 days between the mailing of his appeal and er, the mailing of his warning and filing his appeal, telling everybody who will listen that he knew about the trespass warning. So it's not a fair comparison compared to someone else's case on a different time and a different matter. The appeal in this case was not timely, and as such, we should not even get to the merits. Uh, frankly, the county attorney's office contemplated uh, rejecting this as untimely without a hearing, but determined that to the extent that there's any other interpretation, to the extent there's any ambiguity, that we should put this issue before the special magistrate. But I would argue that there's no ambiguity. The ordinance says the appeal must be filed within 10 days from issuance, and he filed 22 days after issuance all the whole time knowing all about it. So we would ask that the appeal be dismissed for untimeliness. I compare it to, we do demolition appeals all the time. Um, the ordinance says you have 30 days from when the order is issued to file your appeal. And people come in all the time with late appeals and why I know about it. But the standard's not that you have actual knowledge, it's new or should have known, constructive knowledge, which was accomplished in those cases through postings and through certified mail which was done in this case. So again, for untimely appeal, we're asking that the, the appeal be dismissed. Mr. Fields? Uh, let's see. I did not know it was a trespass appeal. I went and did an open public records request and the only thing they gave me was the fact that I was being charged with trespass. Not that I was getting a trespass warning. Uh, as far as uh, Zalva here, uh, and the phone call, they could say whatever they want. The Supreme Court ruled that the police are allowed to lie. So there's no reason for me to give them any credibility for what they say. Uh, the only thing I knew that whole time was that I was being charged under 810 of the Florida statutes for trespassing on curtilage of the property. That's what the records were given to me. Up until the second I had that uh, trespass warning in hand, I had no uh, actual knowledge that I was being given a trespass warning, other than hearsay from police who are allowed to lie under the law. That, that's not a credible uh, thing. One, 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 piece of, one document says I'm charged for trespass under 810, and then the paper I got in the mail says, no, you're issued a trespass warning under 66159. So there's no way I can know which is which until I open the envelope. The public yeah. records request that I made said I was being charged with trespass. Under 810. So the public records request was 810, so that's Florida Statute 810. So Trespassing on curtilage. Criminal trespass. On curtilage, that I was being charged with that. Okay. On the phone they said no, I was being a trespass warning. Why would I believe uh, cops who are allowed to lie by law versus the public record that says I'm being charged under 810? There's no way for me to know exactly what I'm being charged with or issued with until I actually open the envelope and read the documentation. And for him to say that I, I told everybody I know, who does he know who I know and who I told? That's a false narrative and a false statement, to put it lightly. The only time I knew that I was at being, I had a trespass warning from uh, the TCO in Wesley Chapel was when I opened the envelope. And just because they didn't deliver it to me because I wasn't home, doesn't mean I knew what was inside the envelope. They can claim whatever they want. Again, police are allowed to lie. And they did lie because the public records say 810 and the envelope says 66159. Uh, and as soon as I got the envelope, I went there within three days and I filed my appeal. They refused to take it 
They refused to take it. I left it there. I bombarded him with phone calls and emails. And finally, he sent me an email back saying, after further review of the law, I'm going to give you a hearing in this case. And then he tries to bring this up again, that it's untimely. It's very timely. What I was, was the date when you said you opened it? What was that date? It was like March 3rd or 4th. And when you said you opened it, that's the date you, you physically had in hand? Correct. That's the day I went to the post office and signed for it. That's the date you picked it up. Because before that, I wasn't available. I wasn't home. Then when, they, when three police officers showed up, and all my neighbors are calling my wife asking, what's going on over there? Like, I'm some type of terrorist. To deliver one document, they brought three police and three police cars. I wasn't home. Then we had phone calls. I said, why don't you just send it through the mail? It's a show of force, an intimidation tactic that the Pasco County and Institute for Justice has documented very well their minority report policing and their intimidation tactics. It's their policy to target people they don't like. And uh, they could say whatever they want on the phone. Again, a cop's credibility is zero according to the Supreme Court because they're allowed to lie. The document said I'm charged under 810. This document said I'm warned under 66159. How could I know before I open the envelope? Uh, what was the date? One more time, I'm sorry. As far as what? The, the, the date you signed for the letter of receipt. It was like March, I don't know specifically, but it was like March 3rd or 2nd. And the weekend went by, and I went to his office directly and delivered a, a hand uh, handwritten copy. And they tried to refuse to take it. Right, and how, how many days was that? Three tops, four tops. He picked up from the post office on February 29th and filed his appeal on March Okay. So if you start the clock when you pick it up from the post office, it, is, it would be considered a timely appeal. It would be five days later. Absolutely. Our argument is that it, from when it was issued, and the standard is not actual knowledge, but you or should have known. Issued to who? Yeah. Who was it issued to? The post office? It wasn't issued to me. The ordinance said there was to be issued by the sheriff. The sheriff. Yeah, they I understand the technical argument, Mr. Bounty, but I agree with Mr. I also have the video he's talking about where he specifically says. Okay, I'm pulling in your favor. Let me just finish. Okay, go ahead. Um, I don't think it was unfairly prejudiced the county in extending that time frame from the date of him receiving it, even if that's not the exact words of the ordinance. That's how I interpret them. I would believe that the intent would be 10 days from the date that they were given. Go ahead. 
copy of that? Yeah, I wrote that. Okay, so you... Any objection to this being in the sentence? None. No objection to this being entered as county to B. And Exhibit C is just the uh, notice of hearing for this proceeding that was uh, posted in the government center as well as sent via first pass mail and email. You see any copy of that, I presume? It's Go ahead. Here. Yeah. Any objection to it being entered? Yeah, I'm just coming to see. All right, first witness is uh, Mr. Jeffrey Gentry. 